Okay guys, today we are going to be doing the flame test lab and the equipment that we need to do this lab uh, we need a Bunsen burner, we need a pair of tongs, we need a mini well plate, we need a weigh boat with some q-tips, and we need distilled water. Now in the mini well plate we have eight different compounds that we're going to be testing during the lab. This is a diagram of what is going to be in the mini well plate. We see that in well 1 we have lithium, well 2 we have sodium, well 3 we have potassium, well 5 we have calcium, well 6 we have strontium, well 7 we have barium, well 9 we have cobalt, and well 10 we have copper. Now here we see the mini well plate and we see the elements that have already been put in the well plate. And what we'll be doing in this lab is a very simple procedure. We're just going to basically put some distilled water on the end of the Q-tip. We're going to dip it into the salt or dip it into the metals we see below. And then we're going to put it in the flame. And we're going to look at what color the flame turns. Now, like I said before, I'm just going to show you the procedure. All we're going to do is take our tongs, put our Q-tip in the tongs, take some distilled water and just wet the end of the q-tip and then we're going to take the q-tip dip it into the compound which has the metal ion and then when the Bunsen burners on we'll just hold it over the flame the hottest part of the flame right at the top of the inner cone and we'll see what color it turns okay guys the first element that we're going to start off with first metal we're going to start off with is lithium Go ahead and put that in the flame. We see that it has a nice color to it. And that color at the very top, that's a lithium burning off and giving off energy. Next one we're going to do is sodium. So we put sodium in there. We see that we have a nice color change. And that sodium is burning off. It gives us that nice color. Next, we have potassium. A little bit different. Oh, so we dropped a little bit of potassium down in there. But at the very top, you can see that potassium burning. And giving off that light. Next, we have calcium. You see the calcium burning? Nice orange flame. Next, we have strontium. Burns, you can kind of see it off a reddish orange color. And then we have barium. Can we see a kind of a yellowish orange color? Next we have cobalt, and that one's probably my favorite, really looks like a sparkler, very interesting color. And then lastly we have a copper solution. And you can kind of see it right there, it's starting to go, it's kind of a greenish color to it. 